Hey, and welcome back to another video in my eBay parts repair playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay and buy broken electronic items and fix them on camera. Uh, what we have today is something special. This is a 5.5 gen iPod Classic, the highly sought after 5.5 gen. Uh, so let, a bit of a backstory, I have a um, one of my followers, one of my uh, subscribers, a really active member on my Discord channel, really nice guy. Um, one day he just put up this link to an eBay uh, listing and he's like, anyone want an enhanced iPod 5.5? Um, now I, I've heard rumor, like I've heard talk about an enhanced version of the fifth gen classic, but I really didn't pay attention to it. Uh, but when he posted it there, I got interested and I had a look and it turned out to be something that many audiophiles actually really try to get their hands on. Um, like it's, it's a highly sought after item. Uh, because it's considered as the best iPod for sound quality, even considered better than the current iPod uh, Touch 7th generation. I don't know, it's probably something to do with an onboard uh, audio processing chip. Um, despite it being like, what, six to seven years, well, it's more than that, it's probably 10 years old now. I'm not sure when this was released. Um, I didn't really pay much attention to iPod Classics until now. Um, and these things go for insane prices on eBay, like $200, $300 for a working one, broken ones $100 to $200 as well. Motherboards alone, uh, the same guy sent me a link to an $80, $80 motherboard, just the motherboard, nothing else, $80. So I thought, okay, so this thing was, I'll put the price on screen right now in a bit. Um, this thing was really cheap and I thought, you know, I'm a collector. I'm I'm no way in any way an audiophile, but I'm a collector and I collect rare items. So I thought, you know, I must have this. So I went ahead and bought it and this is how much I paid for it. It was like $26 or something. So that's a really good deal compared to the prices of the other ones. Um, and it's, it's listed as broken, but then again, only a motherboard alone only costs $80. So the whole thing, for $26, uh, that's a really good deal. Um, so I'm gonna try and fix it. Uh, I Maybe the hard drive bearing is all shot, so I might have to uh, do an SSD swap on this thing. So we'll see what we can do, um, try and repair it. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Also turn on your bell notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram and Discord as well, to which you can find me on those using the links down in the description below. Okay, so let's jump right into this. So let's get into this, but before that, I'd like to uh, say thank you to my Discord, um, the, the guy on Discord who linked me linked uh, this to me and like got me into this. Um, I'm not gonna put his username here for uh, privacy reasons, obviously. Uh, but he knows who I'm talking about. He knows, obviously, I'm referring to him. So thanks a lot, man. Um, I uh, learned another thing that I didn't know about uh, iPods. So let's get into this. Um, I feel the iPod is somewhere around here. Now, people are probably gonna yell at me because um, like, you're, you're not an audiophile. Why'd you buy that thing? Um, well, I'm a collector, so... I'd still want to buy it, but this one's the 30 gig one. Um, let's bring the serial number close again, as you can see, V9K. And oh, this is the list of all the 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 ending the three the last three digits of the serial number. Uh, these are the all these are all the um, the models that are enhanced, and only 30 and 80 gig ones. 60 gig ones are not enhanced. So mine's V9K, as you can see there, there are a couple of other of them as well. So if you if you have one of those, or if you see one of those for cheap, they're highly sought after and you should get your hands on one. Uh, this is a white one. The home button is, well, the, the middle center button is, it's gone in, so we have to fix that. Uh, hold switch seems okay. Not too many scratches. Let's get this out of the way. Not too many scratches. Well, it does have a lot of scratches, but considering I've seen ones completely destroyed. So this one is comparatively quite nice. Let me get like a box or something to keep this on. I don't want to get it, just get it scratched even more. Hold up. Okay, so um, 
let's um, see what we have here. And I'm cheating on my uh, Apple Watch Fitness there. Only, I do that only a couple of times when I just can't uh, move for the day because I, I did a lot of like workouts yesterday and I'm exhausted. I just can't do it today. So let me go get a 30 pin cable and we'll see what we have. Um, here's a 30 pin cable. I'm gonna use an original. Don't wanna use any knockoff older one, like knockoff ones. This one's really old, but it's original. Let's see if it turn, turns on. Ooh, Apple logo. I think the backlight's out. Ah, okay. Okay, did you hear that? Listen. Okay, once more. Let's do that again. Okay, so let's turn take that off, okay. Bad hard drive. Uh, the hard drive sp spins up and then the, the head lifts off and goes down again like that. So that cuts the cycle. Um, yeah, so that's expected at this age. Uh, the backlight's not turning on either. Um, am I going to try and repair this hard drive? Or let's just jump to a SSD swap, I guess. I don't have SSD parts on me now. There's, there's a complete uh, separate unit I have to buy for that. But um, I guess we could take this apart now. Or maybe let's just take it apart on the day we do a full restoration on this. Um, it's kind of late at night as well. But as you saw, the, the Apple logo turned up. So we don't have a broken motherboard or anything. We just have to fix this button and then we got to fix the hard drive. I'm not going to attempt to um, repair that hard drive because finding a replacement head is mission impossible. Find uh, me getting a talk driver. I'll have to go borrow a talk driver from my uni from my college because if you know hard drives, once you take them apart, you have to turn the screws back on to a certain talk setting or the hard drive is not going to work properly. Um, finding the talk settings for this specific proprietary hard drive uh, on the internet is going to be another nightmare. Um, also, um, I got to go borrow one of those dri talk drivers uh, from my college because they're really expensive. I'm not buying one of those. Um, and yeah, fixing the hard drive is not going to... I just don't want to do it. I, I need a vacuum chamber and all that crap. Like I got to seal off a couple of... Uh, a place like this with a plastic bag. I got to put gloves in there. I got to vacuum everything out. Nah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do all that. Um, so I guess we'll do an SSD swap on this thing. So at least we know it works. Um, and again, thanks a lot, my uh, the my subscriber and my uh, one of my very active uh, followers on Discord. Uh, thanks a lot for this for sending me the link to this. Uh, big thumbs up, man. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'll probably buy the parts for the. Uh, the SSD swap and we'll do a restoration video in time to come. Um, but until then, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.